How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 28 in my introduction to Python series. In this video, we're going over splitting strings. What is a splitting a string? It's taking one string, breaking it into two or more other strings. So uh, you start with one string, you end up with multiple. Now first, I just want to launch Python and just dive right into this. So I'm going to create a random string and call it string. And I'm going to set it equal to hello world. Now, uh, just to uh, print it out, I guess. So print string. There we go. That's our string. Splitting it is just as simple as using the split method. So string, so the string name dot split. And then much like when we were stripping strings in here, we put in some sort of character sequence. So if we put in a uh, space, then we end up with hello world and it's broken up between the uh, the space so where the space was that's where it breaks the string into two and what gets returned is actually a list so it's not like you're getting two strings back you're getting back a list which contains two strings so just keep that in mind um, a list is what's returned now uh, you'll notice there's no space in front of this uh, world and there's no space behind hello so the space gets removed and then the string is just broken up at that point now just like with the strip method if you're just trying to split it at every space you don't even have to put in a character sequence by default it'll split at each space so there you go we end up with the same thing and just to show you if we um, put in no space we get an error because you need to have in some sort of character sequence. So either have a space, nothing at all, or some other character sequence. Now, just to show you here, if I put in an H, what do you think is going to happen? Think about it. You have to have multiple strings returned. So it's not like you only, uh, it's not like it's just going to remove the H. It has to have multiple strings returned. So what we end up with is an empty string because there was no space in front of the hello. So what gets returned is an empty string. The H is removed, and at that point here, it is split into two strings. So we end up with an empty string, and then LO space world. So that's what happens there. Same if I put in the full word hello. Empty string, space world. So that is our basic splitting. Now, one thing I would like to also show you, if we, uh, I'm just going to re- do this string. What if our string was a tab? If our string had a tab in there. So let's print out this string just to show you what it looks like now with the tab in the middle of it. So you can see a lot bigger space in here where the tab is. What we can do, um, I'm actually going to remake this string. So I'm going to put a space here. So hello tab world. I am Adam. Now, if I split it at the tab, which we can do, it's string dot uh, split, and then as our character sequence, we just got to pass in the backslash t. So this is our escape, which uh, it, it the escape key, which then or escape character, I should say, not a key escape character, which is followed by t, which denotes a tab. So if I hit enter now, you'll see it only splits at the tab. It doesn't split at the spaces. It only splits at the tab. We can also do the same thing with other um, different uh, escape characters, such as the backslash n, which would be every next line, which you'll notice here. Ignore that comma. That's just a comma that was part of the string. Um, but it's all one string now because there was no backslash n in our, uh, in our string. So that is all one string. And now, if we, um, now actually I should be show you, I should talk about this too. You notice there's only one string. I did say it turns one string to multiple strings. Well, in this case, there was no backslash n to split at. So if it can't find something to split at, it's obviously not going to do it. It's just to clarify that. Now, just to show you that, um, just to show you um, another way to split, I want to go back to our last tutorial which is 
this one here, which was where I showed you how to open a file. So we had this hello.txt file, which just said hello world, an empty line, I am Adam, a couple tabs in there, and then I'm 19. And then the file itself, the Python file, uh, just opened that file, uh, printed out what the file had. And one thing I didn't have in that tutorial, because Python kind of does it by default, you have to close the file afterwards when you're done with it. So I'm going to exit out of Python and launch this file. Just to show you Python read file.py. I'm already in the folder where this is saved. So there you go. It's printed out. Well, we can split up each one of these lines. Say we want each line individually. Um, we could always do uh, the uh, split and then put backslash n as our character sequence, but there's also a method called split lines. So instead of printing this out, I'm going to create an array. So set array equal to. And remember how I said splitting returns an array with the strings in it. So we're going to take this text file. We're going to read it, and then we're going to split each line. So split lines. Okay. As long as I didn't make any mistakes, that should be good. So save that. Let's launch this. Oops, I got to put in the minus i so I can use the variable. So minus i. Go into interaction mode. Here we go. Now if I call array, you'll see each individual line is now... Uh, a string. So hello world was a string. Um, well, a line I should say. So it splits that up into one string. This was a blank line. We didn't have a space on it. So that's why you see an empty string here. And then I am Adam was the final line. And you'll notice that it has all the tabs that I put in, in there as well. So that's all I want to talk about for splitting. Like I said, we could just use the split and then put in here uh, the backslash n, but the other way, I just prefer it, so split lines I would prefer over doing that, but that's all I got for you guys this time, remember to leave a comment on this video, like this video, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.